Hello and welcome to another edition of LabCast. In this episode I'll be talking about dissection, why we do it and how to have a successful experience with it. The word dissect actually means to expose. It has little to do with slicing and dicing, hacking or whacking. A lot of students think that to dissect you have to cut, tear, rip apart, and that's really not true. To dissect is very careful exposure, one layer at a time, of an organism to reveal the tissues, organs, and different parts of the body. The reason we dissect is to learn more about the human body. Each organism has unique characteristics, um, many of which are very similar to our bodies. By dissecting different organisms, we can learn more about ourselves. When you dissect, you'll be using some very common tools. The one that everybody thinks about is the scalpel. Scalpel is very sharp and is used to cut into different layers of tissue. Despite the perception of many students, you will not be using your scalpel very often. Instead of using the scalpel, I strongly recommend that students use their probe more than anything. The good thing about a probe is because it has a blunt tip, it's very difficult to rip, tear, or pull anything apart that isn't meant to be pulled apart. You can't make too many mistakes with your probe. Your scalpel, you can. You can very, very easily slice through things that you don't want to cut through. So I strongly recommend that you use your probe much more often than you use your scalpel. Your dissection kit may also include a pair of tweezers or forceps, a small pair of scissors, and an eyedropper. Not all kits have these, and these are less important parts. It's also very helpful to have a box of pins available so that you can pin your specimen open and hold parts down as you uh, need to. This gives you essentially a third hand. In terms of safety equipment, it's very important that everybody wears gloves, and depending on what you're doing, safety glasses would also be recommended. Most of the time it's good to wear a lab coat or apron which keeps any of the chemical from splashing on your clothes. And your classmates will really appreciate this if you don't walk around the school smelling like the biology lab for the rest of the day. Before we go too much further, let me explain how to use a pair of rubber gloves. Getting them on is easy enough, but getting them off can be a challenge if you do not do it correctly. After you're done dissecting, the easiest way and the most sanitary way to remove your gloves is to turn them inside out. Instead of trying to pull them from the fingers and get them off that way, I encourage you to hold the wrist area here and turn the glove inside out. It makes it much easier to get off and now the um, used side of the glove is inside. And these can now be disposed of. A couple of reminders when you dissect. Um, follow the old adage that carpenters uh, used to follow, which is measure twice, cut once. Or in this case, read twice and cut once. Please have your lab open in front of you. Read the instructions. Look at your specimen. Identify where you need to cut and how you're going to do it. Read the instructions again and then go ahead and make your cut. It's important to remember that once you cut something, it cannot be put back together. So it's very important that you cut the right area and do it right the first time. When you cut, be sure to think about what is underneath the area that you're cutting. You don't want to cut too deep and inadvertently cut into something that you'll be looking at later. This is another good reason to use your probe instead of your scalpel to separate tissue layers. When cutting, never cut towards yourself or your partner. You don't want any, uh, anything to happen to either of you. After you're done with your lab, it's very important that you clean up your lab station, which includes washing your tools and drying them off, and wiping down your lab table. This keeps everything sanitary and uh, helps the group that will come after you have a good experience as well. Dissection is a, a very fun activity and helps you learn more about your body and about uh, the anatomy and physiology of living things. So I hope you enjoy it.